Did you ever imagine that modern warfare could become the catalyst for one of the most explosive sectors in the stock market? What if I told you that drones, the small flying devices that were once just gadgets for hobbyists and filmmakers, have now become billion-dollar weapons reshaping the battlefield and the stock market? And even more interesting, what if I told you that there are a few companies, small, mid, and large cap, that are not only profiting from this trend, but that we covered them before they ever pumped? That's exactly what we're diving into today. In this deep dive video, I'll walk you through three drone companies that are benefiting from the war in Ukraine, each in their own unique way. One is a small cap war tech company from Australia that's pumping right now. Another is a US defense contractor that has already supplied drones to the front lines. And the third is a speculative European player that might soon see a breakout if EU budgets get redirected. We'll break down their business models, real-world military relevance, fundamentals, risk factors, and long-term potential. I'll also share why I started watching them before the mainstream caught on, and how you can position yourself for similar opportunities going forward. Let's get into it. Let's start with the one making the most noise right now, Drone Shield. This is a company that's still under the radar for most retail investors, but not for long. Based in Australia, Drone Shield specializes in counter-drone technology, systems designed to detect, disrupt, and destroy enemy drones. In today's battlefield, that's not a luxury, that's a necessity. Think about what's happening in Ukraine. FPV drones are flying into tanks. Commercial quadcopters are being turned into bombers. Cheap Chinese drones are scouting targets and relaying data in real time. The airspace is no longer dominated by fighter jets. It's swarming with autonomous weapons. And the only thing standing in their way? Systems like the ones Drone Shield builds. Their tech ranges from handheld jamming devices to vehicle-mounted systems that detect drones via radar, acoustic sensors, or AI-powered vision software. Some of their products can jam GPS, block RF signals, and effectively make a drone crash on command. Others can detect a swarm before it even becomes a threat. Now, here's what makes this stock interesting. They've already supplied tech to Ukraine, and not just hypothetically, multiple confirmed contracts. Their systems have been spotted in active use. On top of that, they've inked deals with NATO members, U.S. allies in the Middle East, and even secured U.S. Department of Defense orders. Revenue is still small compared to big defense primes, but it's growing fast. In 2023, they brought in record revenue. In early 2024, they announced a major order from a government client worth tens of millions. And just a few weeks ago in 2025, they closed yet another round of military contracts. Here's the kicker. We talked about Drone Shield before all of that happened, before the 50% pump, before the Reddit threads, before the Ukraine defense trend was trending. So the question is, are we too late now? Or is this just the beginning? Here's my take. Drone Shield is high risk, high reward. The valuation is still reasonable, but you're betting on continued geopolitical instability and more global defense budgets being diverted to drone countermeasures. If NATO, Israel, Taiwan, or the U.S. ramp up drone defense spending, Drone Shield is in prime position. But remember, they're small. One canceled order could crush the momentum, and competition is rising. Still, for a speculative allocation in a defense-themed portfolio, this is one of the most asymmetric bets on the market right now. Now, let's shift gears and talk about a company with actual military bloodlines, one that's already embedded in the U.S. defense supply chain. Aerovironment, ticker symbol AVAV. If Drone Shield is the up and comer, Aerovironment is the proven veteran. This company doesn't just make consumer drones, they make military grade tactical drones. Their most famous product, the Switchblade. If you've been following the war in Ukraine, you've probably heard of it. The Switchblade is a small loitering munition, sometimes called a kamikaze drone. It can be launched from a backpack fly silently for miles, and strike a tank with explosive precision. The U.S. has been shipping these drones to Ukraine since 2022. They've been used in real battlefield operations. And guess who makes them? That's right, Aerovironment. But that's just the beginning. The company has deep ties with the U.S. Department of Defense, and they've been ramping up their capabilities in autonomous systems, AI integration, and surveillance tech. They're also working on high-altitude solar drones, which could serve as stratospheric satellites for real-time battlefield intelligence. Financially, Aerovironment is in solid shape. Revenue has been growing steadily. They have long-term government contracts, 
margins are healthy for a defense contractor. And unlike some defense plays that rely on just one product or hype trend, AeroVironment has a diversified drone portfolio. They're also not as risky as Drone Shield. They have established credibility, scale, and access to recurring government budgets. If you're looking for exposure to the drone war theme, but want something less volatile, AeroVironment is your play. Now, again, we flagged this company long before most people were paying attention. Before the Wall Street analysts upgraded it. Before CNBC started talking about the switchblades. Because the trend was clear. Modern warfare is going unmanned. And the US isn't going to fall behind. If the war in Ukraine drags on, if tensions rise in Taiwan, if NATO expands and spends more, AeroVironment is going to be on every shortlist of drone suppliers. It's not the sexiest stock. It's not going to 10x overnight, but it might just quietly double or triple over the next few years. Now, let's talk about the most speculative of the three. Parrot SA from France. Parrot is a legacy name in the drone world. At one point, they were a leading consumer drone manufacturer, competing with DJI. But when DJI dominated the consumer market, Parrot pivoted. Now, they're focused on professional and government drone solutions. Their current business model includes surveillance drones, mapping tools, and secure drone software used by police, fire departments, and potentially military clients. What makes them interesting is not what they're doing now, but what they might do soon. See, Europe is waking up to the reality that it needs to ramp up defense spending. The EU has committed billions to strengthening its own defense infrastructure, including unmanned aerial systems. And here's the twist. European governments don't want to keep buying Chinese or American tech. They want European tech, built by European companies with European data security standards. And Parrot checks every box. Now, have they supplied drones to Ukraine yet? Not publicly. Have they landed big NATO contracts? Not yet. But they're already working with French government agencies, and they've been included in several EU defense consortiums. If just one large contract lands, or if the EU prioritizes domestic drone makers in its procurement plans, Parrot could go from boring to breakout. Financially, Parrot is still struggling. They're not profitable. Revenue is small, but their balance sheet is relatively clean, and their R&D is focused on high-margin, scalable solutions. So here's how I look at it. Parrot is a European call option. You're betting on political momentum, regulation, and defense nationalism. It's a slower play, but if the macro narrative aligns, the upside could be big. And yes, we highlighted this stock well before it showed up in war-themed Twitter threads or mainstream YouTube videos. So what's the verdict? Here's how I'd summarize it. Drone Shield is your high-risk, high-reward, battlefield-adjacent play, already delivering tech to Ukraine, already pumped, but still running on real demand. AeroVironment is your solid, US-backed, long-term drone contractor. Real contracts, real use in war, and recurring revenue from defense budgets. Parrot is your speculative bet on the EU. No confirmed war sales yet, but if European governments start buying local, Parrot could explode. And let me be super clear. We didn't just jump on these because they're up 30 or 50%. We were watching these stocks when they were still getting ignored because the writing was on the wall. Wars don't just change borders, they change industries. And drones are the future of modern warfare. Fast, precise, unmanned, data-driven. That's where the military money is going, and the market is starting to catch up. If you're building a portfolio that includes AI, defense, tech, and energy, drone stocks are worth serious attention. Not hype, not memes, but strategic positioning. If you want to see how I structure my actual portfolio and where I'm putting new capital each month, hit the subscribe button and check the link in the description. I break it down every month. Real allocations, not just headlines. And let me know in the comments, which drone stock would you buy today? Drone Shield? AeroVironment? Or are you taking